Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of the Commander's Guide to XCOM. Uh, this is the final mission again, but with a slight twist and a special surprise guest commentator. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Apostate Courier, and I played this run of the final mission. Uh, you can probably tell that something's different. There's only one soldier outside of the Sky Ranger right now. Um, Personally, I noticed that you took your helmet off. Yes, I took the helmet off. Because I figured, why not? It's a solo run. Gotta have a little bit of extra character there. And right away you'll notice that I'm not actually doing anything right away on the second turn. That's because um, if you reveal a set of aliens at this first part while the ethereal is still talking, it breaks their reveal AI. They won't run to cover or anything. Really? Really. Huh. Yeah, that screwed up... Uh, one of my prior attempts because, well, I need the aliens to position themselves the way they do. I really need to exploit the AI here for one very specific reason. And that is right there. On the okay. Left right, so the commander, obviously, but yep. why did you, like, you needed them in cover rather than... I needed him way over there because if you, he wasn't all the way over there and they were where they were, they wouldn't have run away in the way I needed them to. Like, watch right here. They move in such a way that neither of them actually ends up shooting at me. Which is actually really important, because I have to get out of this room taking no damage. That is my goal. That's right, you have about 20 health for the entire map. Yes. Uh, unless you brought health kits. No, I didn't bring that kit. Oh, okay. Because I figured it was a difference of two health between the chrysalid plating, or the chitin plating, and the medkit, but that also costs an action, and that could be bad. Although, right. I end up having a lot of downtime, so that's not mattering. You'll notice that I'm not being especially careful with uh, the commander's positioning. That's because I want him to get killed. Right. So as soon as the mind controller is off on him, he's something you need to kill yourself. Yeah, and you only have two turns of the enemy shooting at them. Because on the third one, they automatically flip to the right. enemy again. But they miss, which works out in my favor eventually. I don't really need them to do a lot of damage. That's the jackass I need to do a bunch of damage to it. <laughs> yeah. And, Cyber oh, discs. This, this is real intimidating. You got one soldier, you got a mind control target, and you have two cyber discs to worry about. Luckily, you can kind of trivialize one of them completely, uh, which you couldn't do with your volunteer, because you can do quite enough damage with Rift, but... We'll, we'll see what a proper volunteer can do. <laughs> wow, rude. Just throwing a grenade to get rid of the drone. Just getting rid of sources of damage. I'm not really worried about the sectoids down there. No, uh, we've long since stopped caring about sectoids. Yeah, I just... Here we go. Uh, oh, this is such a fantastic number. Uh, this is without science fire up, by the way. Just making that clear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ninety percent of the routing of this run was minimizing exposure to damage. The other ten percent was managing cooldowns. Well, I gotta say, like ninety percent of my entire LP was just not getting shot at and managing that. Oh, just, if, just if they don't shoot shy. you. See here. That's fine, you still got him for next turn, right? Yeah, but the AI gets a little unpredictable after this next stage if I were to just say mind fray the one in the back and mm. pop with the sectoids. So instead I decide to uh, explode the sectoid commander. Oh, clever. Shoot the uh, cyber disc on top of him. Yeah, and this is just barely outside of the explosion range. I was very careful about that. Yeah, the explosion range of Cyberdisc is basically just a 3x3 uh, three three yeah. grid adjacent. And I get lucky and get a crit. I, uh, any time it's not 100%, I'm sweating bullets. Because if one thing goes wrong, it's very easy for the one to go completely <laughs> sideways. I really miss the old Cyberdisc explosion days. Oh, they were huge. It yeah. was basically a rocket. On my way. And luckily, I don't get two uh, reaction shots right there. Because they could have gotten 
Well, you only would have taken one shot. The first one would have guaranteed missed. Well, yeah, but every point move. of damage counts. And, you know, made it up, no damage. Ready to rock. This next room, I expect to take four damage. Really? Okay. Yes. Uh, that is the expected just because there's too many enemies on the screen and cooldowns just aren't set. Yeah, I'd say they're disappointed if they die that fast, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that one just dies right away. I don't want to take chances shooting at it with the alloy cannons. It's just my brain. And I know where every enemy is. I've done this so many times. Uh, that floater is generally not an issue because I have a very juicy target for my control right there. Right, yeah, I get the heavy floater. Yeah. I think he's the only one in this mission. He is. That is the yeah. only heavy floater in this mission. I, I like heavy floaters. Or I like using them in multiplayer. They're yeah. They're good soldiers. Uh, yeah. Those plasma rifles hurt. And apparently so do light plasma rifle hurts. Well, that makes things a whole lot more interesting because I usually expect them to survive a little bit better than that. Hmm. Um, so, a little bit of improvisation. I'm shooting this guy just like normal. <laughs> right on top of him. Yeah, I mean, the camera angle a little weird, but whatever. That's where I want him because it puts him on later. And here's where things start to go a bit wrong. Over here. Oh, just two more floaters. Yeah, two more floaters. But I have to rift the one up top. And. You Jake, have fix to. your game. Oh. Uh. I, I... Jake, fix your game! Like... Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can see my frustration there a little bit. Um, I get real lucky there. But that one on the bottom doesn't normally do that. This is a blessing right here. Cause normally oh, yeah. Just Heavy Flutter's just going to murder it, yeah. You can shoot the other one. No, it's my friend. My oh, it. yeah, right. But I deal with the one in the air because that one generally, in every test I've done, has just floated over and shot me right from above, so the cover doesn't matter. Ah. Uh. Uh, whereas the other one goes up to the piece of cover that I'm on and, and tries to shoot me and doesn't always hit. So I just wanted a better chance at hunting the air. It worked out. Seems a little unnecessary. Ah, uh, the little extra bit of aim helps with reaction, uh, reaction fire. Okay, chrysalids. That chrysalids Not completely much negated of a by being an assault. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, that aim. Incidentally, without without the kill boss, that would have been a back to the shot. Oh, nice. Yeah. Whoa. Bug. Yeah, and... little bug, buggy on the jump up. So, funny thing, it turns out that the alien. Whoa, they AI, just teleport and. A little whoa. Bit, yeah. It's a little buggy. Vision also appears to be a little buggy when you bring a single soldier. Maybe they throw you a bone? Because later on I've noticed that I'm seeing far further than I have any right to be. Huh. Um, funny thing, it turns out alien AI is actually different depending on what turn you do things on. Okay. Which we'll get to when we get to the little intermission section. With the... So you played this enough to notice turn-by-turn -turn differences. Yes. Uh, I have... That's maybe a little bit too much. I've successfully completed this 13 times. Thir Jeez! Okay. I know you were having some issues recording to get a finished product, but wow, 13 times. Now, these two, normally not a problem at all. I mean, I just run back, they don't quite get out of the hallway. But then that nope. happens. Uh-oh. And he doesn't shoot. Huh. That's never happened before. Well, shoot so him. So it's just, <laughs> well, I gotta worry about the second one, right? Ah, so, you got lightning reflexes. Or you could just think at him. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. But, I mean, I got a 100% chance. Dude, I said that against, like, the floaters, and you're like, nah, I gotta think at it, whatever. Arbitrary methods of execution. The other one was in the air, that one was flanked. It was a guaranteed 100% chance. And then this jackass does this. Oh yeah, you're not immune to poison. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, whoever said that all tier 3 armors do immune to poison was lying. Um, I'm not sure Psy Suit's 
count. Well, you know, I guess they ought to. But no, yeah, psi suits definitely don't. Like, we knew that in the battleship when, uh, had to path around fire. Yeah. Because it doesn't make you immune to fire either. No, I know. It's just someone in the thread said that all tier 3 armors uh, do the titan armor thing. But they don't, so. Well, I never included psi suits as tier 3 armor. Yeah, like, down to. They, they mean ghost tier, uh, ghost and, um, archangel as well. Good to go. Just waiting for the poison to dissipate. It's gonna take a while. It's, no, it's just like one no? turn. Oh well, <laughs> well, it's one turn for you. Moving. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I feel, Commander. And I'm just be real careful with this because I don't want to dash off and not be able to shoot. Him. That's affirmative. The last thing I need is getting three points. Engaging. And this one just gets thought at because. Why not? So arbitrary. Yeah, just five damage. It's instantly dead. Now, this next pit is not stalling. Uh, I have no reason to stall. All my cooldowns are up. But there is very, very occasionally a pack of two fed men on the far side. Moving. I've only seen it once, but okay. it's been there huh. before, and I don't want something like that to get up on me. Because any excess damage could scrap the run. Because of this next room. Ah, yes. Yeah. The Muton room. Oh, it's not the Mutons I'm worried about. They're they're pretty trendy. I know, but it's their room. Yeah. For now, it's their room. Mutons, low will, rift, whatever. They have slightly more will than the Cyberdisc, apparently. Yeah, like, in that they actually have willpower and cyberdiscs are machines. And, again, I've done this so many times, I know exactly how far to activate what aliens. <laughs> and, you know, my control berserk is like an alien thing. Why not? Join me. Ah, it's always good fun. I did that one, too. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really great uh, plasma sponge. And Bull Rush is fun to use, even if it's oh, yeah, yeah. buggy. For some reason, they don't ever seem to do that in their, uh, yeah, when it's, it's their uh, turn. I don't know why, but, uh, come on, Bull Rush. Come on. Uh, oh, shit, it's locked. Um, uh, uh, Jake? Huh. Jake, fix your game, please? Well, maybe it'll work, I don't know. Didn't uh, what? Do a... No, wait. Okay. Oh. No. Just, I'll take sure? it. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, that would be I certainly a thing. Didn't hit that the happened. cover at all. When that's actually supposed to be one of the requirements. You're supposed to hit a piece of cover. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's great in multiplayer. Oh, I'd imagine. And, you know, just going and hitting this guy. There's only one place he can be. And I'm thinking, do I? No. On my way. Oh, yeah. I ate the reaction fire. That's right. Because I want the Berserker Incoming to be able to fire. absorb as much fire for the next section. Ah. And I'm really hoping that I don't get screwed up the damage from there, but it works out. Oh, can it get uh, a 9 or less? Yes. It can. The damage range on that is 9 to 11. <laughs> I have seen all of these values. I have seen that Newton run to so many different places. And right now, I'm just running it out of vision range because my control's about to break. And I'm gonna need that back for the next turn. And this is unabashed okay. stalling. Yeah, like, right. I, I, yeah. I think I see what you're gonna do here. You're gonna wait for it to come back, you're gonna remind control it, and then send it out to scout ahead of you. Yeah, but that doesn't quite go the way I planned. It never does. No. It's like, okay, uh, time to go out there, okay. find, wait, where is it? Hang on. Oh, it's done. It, it, it's like back to base, having some like, tea and a Jaffa cake. Zerka, where'd you go? <laughs> I think what happened was since it broke my control so far out of line of sight, it went back to... Being uh, passive? Yeah. Huh. But the weird thing is, it's not quite where I left it. It's just kind of hanging out by the door over there. Which was a few squares away from where I left it. Don't where it is to me. Yeah, I, I 
I don't have any explanations for that behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, mistakes were made in this next bit. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, I positioned wrong. Like, I think, okay, maybe I'll be able to land a rift through the gap there later. Oh, I know. These, these this ledge and those uh, columns make it look like you ought to be able to do things. And it's been way too much time to figure out how to make it work. I'm like, okay, it's in some places. I should be able to catch at least one of them. Whatever. It's like, can I? Can I make it? No? Fine. And I think you could see the outline of one of their legs when I was sweeping it around, so, you know. I see it, okay. Oh, and this makes the run around so much worse. Why? Why? Well, because they take half damage from everything. Oh, right. Yeah. And, you know, this spread is normal. Still catch them both in a rift at that distance, but hmm. I can't get to the place where I can rift them. Oh no. Oh no. I definitely can't get to one where it's safe to rift them. Right. I had this problem too. It's just. Like, oh crap. Well, okay. There's not a good but, initial turn here. They, no. Uh, they oddly, for being on the low ground, have the better positioning. They really do. I mean, especially just because they have so much firepower. Oh, okay. I didn't eat Overwatch. That's cool. Oh no, they just activated. And now I'm really hoping that they don't start shooting at me through the floor because I've done that before. Shooting <laughs> Jake. And shooting at Berserker because, yeah. Yeah. I like the idea that it's gonna growl at it and try to intimidate the, like, mechanical tank. Yeah. But, I mean, it doesn't move or anything, which. Okay, so ah! <laughs> oh, we know when they try to move, and then they just killed him in the Overwatch. Like, okay, he didn't take nearly enough shots. Oh man! So it shot it, then got its free Overwatch shot, because and then it, it tried to charge it because that's what Berserkers do, and triggered another shot. Yeah. Wow. And weirdly enough, that also ate the shot of the other Sectopod. You saw how it was shooting its main gun at that thing. Yeah. I have. I think it might have gone straight to the next enemy's turn while that thing was still moving. Would certainly be interesting to figure out exactly yeah, what happened so, there. so, you know, 11 damage. Uh, and There's I'm really still a lot of Sectopod to go. Oh, yeah. Um, if they don't move, though. And it's a really good thing I didn't move there. Yeah. Just barely outside of the explosion range. It's, it's not like I know that by heart, either. And oh, I well. get lucky. Oh. Everything about this next section is luck. And, oh, wait, it gets to shoot, too, because that's what's... Oof. Yeah. And, luckily, they didn't move, so they take the damage. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, that, that helps a lot. Yes, it does. Oh, now he takes his reaction fire. So they each have seven health. You can, uh, you can easily whittle that off with an uh, ally cannon. I can, but I don't want to expose myself to fire for that long. Hmm. Because on the move. they take half damage, so I have to land two shots. And if I'm landing two shots, that means I have to be out here. Yeah, they don't care about what the. Yep, they don't care about my sight. They will shoot you wherever. I was going to say, they don't care about cover uh, in the sense that they are they don't take cover, so you can't try to do the guava thing of run up next to them, shoot them, and then they're going to be like, oh no, there's something right next to us, I better get to cover and run away, and then trigger close combat specialist for an extra free shot. Yeah, not so much. Yeah. And even real close, it's not a 100% chance. I'm a little worried about the fact that that one uh, came up so close to me, because usually they're both right next to each other. I'm really hoping the other one followed it. I didn't get shot at, so I'm thinking there have to be missiles coming. Yeah, that's that's my thought right now. Yeah. Yep, there they are. <laughs> okay, one turn. I gotta get in position this turn so I can rip the next turn. Got it, moving. So, going to full cover and just waiting and hoping. Dirty stalling. It's not stalling because I'm. 
getting shot at? Headed there now. Whatever. That's new. Okay, one of them is guaranteed dead. It's not stall stalling if you gotta roll a GFI. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can't get them both with a rift, but you go rifted anyway? Hmm. I have to kill one of them this turn. Well, yeah, but you could have done that with the alloy cannon. It's not a guaranteed shot. Seven and health? Yeah, it is. No, it's not, because it takes half damage. Yeah, you rapid fire. And one of those shots could miss. I wanted ah. to guarantee that I was only getting shot at once, just in case something goes wrong. Now I'm going to be rapid firing. Him down. And I gotta do this from a very specific distance, which makes the shot harder. But it's the only way to make it work and not take explosion damage. Location confirmed. In hindsight, I should have just taken the explosion damage because I'm, I'm actually not going to be taking a whole lot from here on out. It, it doesn't seem like it's necessary to take explosion. No, that. 88 is not 100 gate. I, I suppose that's technically true. Uh, you, you pull the trigger a little faster than I can see the shot odds. Sorry, uh, I'm working with the limited hard drive space. Yeah. Okay, this is about manipulating line of sight. I'm trying to remember exactly what square I have to go to. <laughs> exactly what. I don't have to go to exactly that one because I'm not going to get line of sight without wanting them to have line of sight, but... Then just teleport overwatch, okay. Good job, Berserker, or Elites. Yep. I'm on it, Commander. Locked and loaded. Um, fun fact, an Elite Mutant, uh, no Elite Mutants actually fire their weapons in this mission. Aye, aye, Commander. Okay. Hostile spotted. <laughs> Got him just on the edge, so you mind control him. Yep. And you know, my turn's over. He just moves up. Just <laughs> just blow the over. teleporting overwatch, yeah. Yeah, because it's technically out of line of sight. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I don't know it. why you, Yeah, I, that, that is curious. I'm taking it. Aye, aye, Commander. I will take the gift. And Oh, you just riffed them. Okay. Yeah, just riffed them both. Why not? I don't need the buddy, and he's a liability the second mind control runs out anyway. Basically seems like the, the backbone of this plan is rift. <laughs> For the things I can't deal with with other methods. And honestly, when I'm as outnumbered as I am, I kind of have to. Ah, outnumbered. It was two to one. This next room is... I'm on the move. Uh, <laughs> I do stall for this one a bit, but I'm always moving forward. Uh, I'm stalling because this next room is a bastard without that opening rift. And you have neither rift or mind control right now, which is basically what's carried you this far. Yeah, having another person to manipulate the AI is a big deal. Uh, science fire being used here because I actually need it for the next bit. Yep. I don't stop to check uh, for willpower right now. But I think it would be 181. Yeah, right now. I keep this cutscene in solely because I was afraid that not keeping it in would fuck with the AI, given the earlier problem I had. Oh, the uh, activation while they talk? Yeah. Alright. Not really much to talk about here. Um, out of all of the enemies in this room, that guy's pretty much the least dangerous. Really? Yeah. Because of positioning, or what? Um, because Shellshock's willpower is, or will is so much higher. Oh, okay. And when you're only target is a uh, high will soldier things get a little interesting uh, just huh. because hmm. they don't use some of their options well Ethereum's and can only attack game, Jake. But, but Jake fix your game there's ghost mutons 
goes a few times. They're, oh God, are, are they still there? Are they under the world? No, they're, they're ghosts, clearly. Yeah, they're still there, and they're still very killable. Oh, um, okay. They, yeah. You you killed the ghosts. Uh, who are you gonna call? And here's why he's the least dangerous enemy. In the world. Good job, Silence. Well, why is he less dangerous than the other ones? Well, they're non-factors, so I, they don't really count. The one on the right does nothing of note, and this one is my buddy. <laughs> But just to give you an idea of how much more willpower Shellshock has than these, uh, the Uber Ethereal is using the same attack on this one, and does three times as much damage. <laughs> just shot his body, nice. Yeah. And I have exactly one brain power left. Um, my prey. Oh, yeah, which powers as well. Which right. allows for the one two punch to hit that much harder. I made a slight mistake here. Um, uh, I put okay. them a little too close together. And you know what ethereals do when they have more than one target they can hit. Ah, uh, you're gonna get rifted. I'm gonna get rifted. But, I mean, if you think about it, it's taking the 25 will hit from Mind Fray. It's taking the minus 10 from Wounded. Yeah, Mind Fray against equal will targets is not exactly a good plan. By no means a guarantee. It's okay, as well so tank I'm taking poor damage from me, what, whatever. I like how you say that the uh, Uber Ethereal is the, the least dangerous thing in the room, and is yet the only one to hurt you so far. Let's do well, this. No, I got poison. Two damage. His first hit did as much damage as a thin man did to me. <laughs> He's about as dangerous as a thin man, and then he just dies. And this should be the end of the mission, and this happens in the main run as well. Yep. Uh, mind control breaks the victory condition. If I was thinking, I would have just left him in the rift and let him die that way, but... No. You, you gotta have a buddy. Somebody, somebody has to write the journal of what happened here. Oh, if only that were the case. And, you know, just kind of wondering what the fuck's going on. Let's move this guy down the turn. Could have just pressed backspace. Oh, that's what ends the turn? Yeah. I wanted to see if the explosion would do damage. And the end cuts things a little. Only one soldier. Are you going to be shouting at an empty door? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's no one. It's not even like I brought people with that I killed off. It's just there's no <laughs> one there. Why? Are, why? It's like, why are you staring so intently at the door? There's no one there. <laughs> <laughs> it makes no sense. Oh, man. Yeah. Just losing it a little bit there. Yeah. The ship itself yeah, is so. Behaving this like was a lot more work star. than I thought it would be. But Becoming a black hole. it was worth it in the end. At it was a lot of fun distance, to figure out. The Earth will be consumed. I know Guava likes to say that the, the last mission is, is super easy, but the uh, the two sectopod room and the final room can oh, be yeah. really, really brutal if you're not prepared for them. Yeah, the sectopod room had me sweating bullets every single time I did this run. Um, I'm really disappointed that I didn't get the uh, beams emanating from the floor thing that happened on mostly the other ones. They decided to shoot rockets at me when I was in the backfield instead. Central, I'm bugging out. But the package is not on board. I got really, really Wait, lucky. I, I could have afforded to take one second pot hit and still make it through the final. Sir, okay. the alien ship is in motion. What direction? So, it's not entirely chance. What direction? <laughs> Up. Like, if that first shot had hit, it would have been rough, but I would have made it. Right. With, like, two health left. Would have been nice, I suppose, if you could have done in ghost armor and had those four turns of invisibility. Oh, that would have. I specifically didn't take um, a medic skin for that exact reason because it would have just snapped it over my knee. It wouldn't have been fun. 
because it just would have been hiding in high cover and then running out and killing things and then running back to high cover. Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm really regretting not putting the neural feedback on. That would have been hilarious. I went with neural damning just to... Oh, Be- Because anything is ever getting into her mind. Hey, it would have been a 14% chance otherwise. <laughs> 14 <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks for showing us how to do the final mission with a single soldier. Yep. Christ. And plus, <laughs> Shellshock deserved the revenge. I, sure? I guess. I mean, you, you killed enough things during the campaign. Well, yeah, but how many of those were ethereals? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, cut. Fuck off, furniture monsters! <laughs> Fuck! Okay, I'm gonna record so here. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah.